What's up guys, it's Lorenzo with Quality Mobile Video. Today we're going to go over the do's and don'ts of subwoofer wiring. Uh, with dual voice coil subs, class D amplifiers, there's a lot of different options and a lot of different loads we can present to the amplifier. Let's get rolling. In our previous videos, you've seen all about the Rockford PBR series. These are excellent, tiny little amplifiers, perfect for underneath the seat, easy to mate up to a subwoofer. In our particular instance here, it's actually not the right amplifier. When bridged, this amplifier needs to have a four ohm load. We're using two eight inch Pioneer dual two ohm voice coil subs, and there's no way that we can wire this system to work with this amplifier. So we have the Rockford R500 X1D, this amplifier is capable of running at 2 ohms and we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to wire these subs. One way to check the impedance of your woofers is to use a voltmeter. You'll set your voltmeter to impedance and you'll go ahead and just test the coil. You can see here we're getting a 1.5 reading. Uh, mind you, the coils are rated at nominal impedance, which is different than DC resistance, but this gives you an idea that we have about a 2 ohm voice coil, which is exactly what Pioneer says. With these Pioneer subs, we're going to wire each coil in series to create a 4 ohm load because they are dual 2 ohms. We're going to take the positive connection of one coil and we're going to connect it to the negative side on the other. And this way we have a single positive connection and a single negative connection. And we'll make that connection later after I do the next woofer. Make the same connection over here, positive to negative. And now we're going to connect the two woofers together. Now that we have each woofer wired in series, we have a 4 ohm load at each woofer. So now we can combine the two woofers to either create a 2 ohm load or an 8 ohm load. If you wanted to create an 8 ohm load, that's actually easier. And all you would do is connect the positive of this one to the negative of this, just like that. And then you would have a negative connection and positive connection. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to test with our voltmeter so you can actually confirm the load. We're going to reset the voltmeter to impedance. And we're going to put one lead on the positive over here and one lead on the negative there. And you can see the voltmeter is showing a 6.4 ohm load, which nominally is an 8 ohm load. And now we're going to wire it to the 2 ohm. In our particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to take the positive and negative of each woofer directly to the amplifier on each one. That will combine the two to create a 2 ohm load at the amp. And for the sake of this video, we're going to use a slightly different speaker wire just to show the connections at each woofer. So we're going to take the negative to negative, the positive to positive, and we're going to do the exact same thing for the other woofer, negative to negative, and positive to positive. And now we're going to combine these two in parallel, and that will create our 2 ohm load at the end. And now that we have our parallel connections of both woofers, we're going to go ahead and test with the voltmeter, see what load we got. And we're showing 1.6 ohms at the voltmeter, which is a nominal 2 ohm load at our end. Use the link below to check out our blog on how to wire dual 2 ohm and dual 4 ohm in 3 woofer and 4 woofer combinations. Make sure to check out qualitymobilevideo.com. Thanks for watching. See you again next week.